How to become a TV reporter or news anchor. Being a TV reporter or news anchor is an exciting and fast-paced profession. However, if you're in it for just the glamour and the glory, then you may have to rethink your priorities. Being a TV reporter or news anchor not only requires hard work, rigid deadlines, and the ability to talk to the most difficult people, but you may also find yourself spending six hours in 20-degree weather waiting for a hostage situation to break. If you think you have the guts, stamina, and dedication to be a TV reporter or news anchor, then follow these steps. Having what it takes. Be an articulate speaker. Your voice is key in this field. You should concentrate on projection, enunciation, and inflection. All of these things will help you deliver your script in a compelling nature. Be authoritative in your speech. This will give you credibility with your audience. Read newspapers and magazines aloud. Listen to the best journalists in the field when they speak and try to emulate them. You'll have to speak loudly and slowly enough for people to understand you, but quickly enough to cover everything you have to say in a given amount of time. Look good on camera. This doesn't mean that you have to look like a movie star or a Victoria's Secret model. You don't even have to be classically handsome or beautiful. You do, however, have to look appealing on camera, and have that special quality that makes people want to watch you doing whatever you do. This is a mixture of charisma, confidence, and that special something that will make people respond to you even if you're covering a story about a local bake sale. Unfortunately, it can go the other way, you may be incredibly attractive but may come off as lackluster on camera. Don't think that your looks are a golden ticket to the profession. Have killer people skills. If you want to succeed in the world of TV reporting or news anchoring, then you have to be able to talk to anyone about almost anything. If you're reporting, you may have to talk to people live, on site, and on camera, even if they aren't comfortable, and your job will be to make them comfortable. If you're an anchor, then you'll have to introduce people to your audience and talk to them in the studio, and use the same skills to make them open up and feel at ease. You may not realize that many reporters and news anchors have to write and investigate their own stories, but this may actually be a large component of your job. If this is the case, then you'll need to be able to talk to a variety of people who can give you access to the information you want. Be free from bias. Tough one, A. Eh? If you want to be an honest TV reporter or news anchor, then you'll have to learn to put your prejudices aside. Even if you lean a certain way politically or feel biased against certain professions, people, or regions, you'll have to do your reporting as objectively as possible. You won't be able to let the people you interview see through to your personal beliefs, or you won't be giving people the honest, unbiased news that they really want. If you're prejudiced against certain people, they will be much less likely to open up to you. Have stellar writing skills. Though being an articulate speaker is crucial, being a strong writer isn't far behind. Even if you're just reading what you have to say and improvising as you go along, or if you have to write your own stories, writing skills will get you far in the field. Writing skills will also help you communicate with others if you have to develop your own stories, and your writing should make you sound as professional as possible. Of ridiculous stamina. If you're the kind of person who needs a nap after working for two hours, then the life of a TV reporter or news anchor is not for you. You may have to work 12-hour shifts, get up at 2 a.m., or spend hours just standing in the same spot during unusually cold or hot conditions waiting for a story to break. And you have to have the ability to work a 10-hour shift, only to be told that a major story just broke and to work five more hours until you take care of business. You will have to be flexible. This is not a job for people who want to work 9 to 5 and then go home and kick their feet up. Think you can do it?